Again, they diluted, started bringing in all these immigrants to make sure blacks became the permanent underclass in the society. Blacks are the original minorities. And, they, and, they, and that, they're a permanent minority in a society where the majority will win, the minority will lose. But they forget that, in the, that, that, they, that the Federalist Society that wrote up the Constitution said this, that if the majority, you're gonna practice a majority win society against a minority, and, and you don't adhere to taking care of the minority's rights and privileges, then the, then the minority does not have any obligation to, and to be bound by any damn thing you do. That means then you got a police force that those blacks, the blacks in this country, that they've been bound to be the only damn permanent minority. They don't, they, they should, they don't have any vote, they, they should they can ignore all these damn laws. They can say, forget you on every damn thing. Because the Federalist Papers, Federalist Paper number 10, so you want to find out. Number 10, the Federalist Papers number 10, that was written by Madison, James Madison, that wrote the damn Constitution. He said, you're going to have a democracy where people, the majority will win, and whites going to make themselves a permanent majority always, and blacks the permanent minority. Then the damn minority that lose it doesn't have to get by by a damn thing you say. Uh, and also, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button, please do that right now and put your hashtag B1 in the chat. B1 means that you are black first. You can be gay or straight, but you're black first. Educated or uneducated, you're black first. Young or old, you're black first. Male or female, you're black first. Hashtag B1 in the chat to let us know that, that you are in alignment with, with this philosophy. This is very important for us to get on the same page. Leave your BS to the side. Come in here, and when you come in here, you're black. I don't care where you come from or what, you, what your background is, you're black first. Republican, Democrat, you're black first. We, that way we can get on the same page. Uh, so so uh, the last thing I want to mention too, uh, Dr. Claude Anderson's site is powernomics.com. That's powernomics.com. Uh, a lot of you have had your kids at home for months and months. Uh, we're taking over the educational system right now. We're taking it over. So I want you to consciously take over that process, right? Take over in the chat. Take over means... Uh, have your kids read books like Powernomics. Have them read books like Black Labor, White Wealth. Have them read books like The Black History Reader. Have them read Dr. Anderson's books uh, in alignment with all the other books that you want them to read. Uh, this is your your big opportunity. So go ahead and make sure you do that. The website is powernomics.com. Now, even though I respect and I appreciate the Black Lives Matter group, and I'm proud, proud of them getting out in the street you know, and moving and doing something, but they're, they're, but they're focusing on symptoms and, 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 and ceremonial issues, symbolic issues, rather than the causes of what our dilemma. There's a cause by why, why whites keep killing blacks. Doing slavery, you know, up, up until the 1950s, they were, they, were, they were still lynching one black man per day. And the police was behind all that stuff. And there were times in cities where they, where they killed sometimes six or 700 blacks at one time. And that, so they have to understand all this stuff and why. And if you don't have the Constitution right now authorize them to do it, you haven't changed the Constitution. They don't, you don't know there are two constitutions. The second Constitution is the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment and the Civil Rights Laws. And they neutralized those when they brought these, all these crowds and groups into it. So they won't pertain to black folk. Now the civil rights laws pertain to everybody, everybody. That's wrong. Those civil rights laws, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th Amendment to the Constitution and the civil rights laws and the second Constitution will be strictly and solely for black folk. You wouldn't have, the, they would be walking in the street. They would go in and say, hey, right and then from now on, we're demanding that you do this strictly for black folk. And, and, I'll, and that next time we talk, and I can tell you about what they should be doing, immigration and get gender issues and all these kind of things.